your old buddy Farmer Fletch here, and this is uh, Farming with Fletch. There's Sophia back here. Hi, Sophia. What do you do when you have a 460 pound barrel of fresh rainwater that you've captured, and your wife wants to use that, and you don't have any way to pick it up? But she also wants her pawpaws watered that are way out here in this back part over here. Well, these are the pawpaws we planted. Right, right there, over there. What do you do with that 460 pound barrel of water? You have no way to pick that up. And all you got is a little bitty old John here tractor. Yeah, that's right, folks. You just uh, put her in a uh, full, full rabbit and you push the bad boy all the way down about 150 yards this is barrel number two here folks yeah you just stick around here old, old fletch has got a few tricks up his sleeve look at that i learned this back when i was about 18 years old i had this pacer and uh i learned how to push stuff around with that old pacer but i'll get back to y'all here in a little while anyway i had this old pacer and uh I'd go out on Main Street and I'd antagonize a bunch of folks and get them to chase me in this pacer. And then me and my buddies, we'd already went around behind the old Walmart store and set up. We got all the big dumpsters. And what we'd do is we'd park up to them, just like I was doing with this barrel on this on this lawnmower. I'd pull up to them with the front bumper of that pacer. And then I could move them anywhere I wanted to with the front bumper of that pacer. And uh, we'd move them into position and we'd find out, you know, how fast we could go around this corner and figure out where we needed to place the dumpsters. And we'd go out and antagonize these people. We'd get them to chase us. And we'd come flying around this corner. And we'd make it just barely past them dumpsters. And, and then uh, you would hear a big crash and you'd see lights go out. And you knew whoever was chasing you would just crash into that. We only did it to assholes now. Folks. We, we didn't do it to any good folks. But uh, anyway, that's a little story I want to tell y'all. And... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and water this here pawpaw tree right here. This little pawpaw tree right here needs some water. And I got my rain barrel down here, so I'm gonna water it and then I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. Brought y'all over here. Uh, I wanted to show y'all this year's garden. Oh yeah, isn't that looking awesome? Every one of these rows here was formed. Well, first off, I had my neighbor who came over and he tilled it all up for us. But then we formed each one of these rows with a little bitty Troy built cultivator. You know, we got our got our nice row right here, and then we got this this wider row here, this is for rooted vegetables. And then all the rest of them are regular. Until you get down here. You got this nice wide one here. And this is where our onions are in the first well several feet of it. I think our onions, yeah, our onions go right to here. We just got them planted in the ground today. And then the rest of it, it's all potatoes. And then if you go down here, a hundred and some feet, you get into the crossroads, and those are all of our corn. Last year we had asparagus growing right in here on this row, and it was, it was taller than I was. Or not asparagus, it was uh, okra. And it was taller than I was. But uh, here's our corn. It's got popcorn on the first two rows and then the sweet corn on the last three. Yep. But that's, that's this year's garden. I did it all with a little bitty cultivator. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of equipment I use. I just use what I can get. Um, I kind of put myself in those predicaments where I've had to start over way too many times in life. And uh, this time I got somebody who wants to start over with me who's uh, actually gung-ho about doing the type of things that I want to do. So you can see, you know, this garden is 40-some feet wide and 100, I think 118 or 120 feet long. It's a big garden, way too big for the little amount of equipment we have. But uh, yeah, getting her done, man. That's the one thing you got to do. You got to not let you gotta not let life circumstances set your 
pace. You gotta set your own pace, even if it means you gotta bust your butt. I mean, hard. We got hundreds of plants downstairs in our grow room, ready to be transplanted in here. I've asked for, not this, this coming week, but the next week off, because uh, hopefully by then there won't be no more frost. And then we can plant all these plants in here. We got all of our onions and our potatoes planted. And we got all of our corn planted. We had some potatoes that came back in from last year. And we had some down there by where Sophia is. Hopefully she ain't picking it. We had some carrots that came in from last year. But uh, you better not be picking them carrots. They're those little baby things. Hopefully she ain't picking them. Turn around. What do you got in your hand? She's hiding them. She's trying to pull them. You just ruined those carrot plants. Those got to grow up, baby. Uh oh, she is pulling them. Look at this little stinker. She's pulling these carrots up out of the ground. That ain't a very good looking carrot. Still, don't be growing. Don't be pulling those up until they're ready. You hear me? You can't just go on there and eat the ends off of them. Gross little kid. Look up here. Are you eating the ends off those carrots? Gross. But anyway, you don't let you don't let your circumstances set your pace. You got to go out and set your own pace. But see, I got these two gravity feeds right here. This one right here collects rainwater, and that top's all opened up and kind of split wide, so it'll catch all the water that rains. And you can see it fills up that pretty good. And then that one there, we drain our rainwater tanks up at the house into ones from the pickup and then we bring them down here and gravity feed them in there and then we gravity water the whole garden but until next time i make one of these here videos you all stay awesome i gotta get back to it see y'all later